It's Friday evening, and I'm here to wrap up the week. Welcome back to another episode of Sit and Talk. I guess that's the first one. Uh, this morning was a rainy morning, and I never made it outside. Actually, surprisingly enough, uh, we had snow coming down. Just all of a sudden, there was stuff falling from the sky. And uh, so as a result, I kind of ended up just taking my daughter downstairs and never making past the gate of my house. So instead, I decided to make a quick little wrap-up video for the week um, here at the office. Um, it's messy, as you can see behind me. Uh, there's stuff we've got. There's some uh, unused computer screens right there. Uh, this is my mining rig. I check out the rig. That's the graphics card. SSD memory and all the other stuff I seriously don't remember any specs for. It's very simple, it's very easy to make, relatively easy, for even for somebody who has never worked with computers. All you need to do is follow some decent instructions online and make sure that you've got your stuff in order. And it's done. A few months ago, actually last year, somewhere late last year, I started uh, getting into the cryptocurrency market and I started really losing a lot of money and as a result I decided to spend even more money and build an amateur rig which I did. Um, it's not really profitable that much, it was more of an experiment. Basically what I got out of it is um, I, I wrote up uh, an article or two and the company that uh, about whom I wrote the article paid me for it which basically paid for the rig which means that I actually got a free computer out of the whole business which was quite kind of cool. And it gave me, provided me with the experience of building uh, a very simple mining rig and also allowed me to spend a lot of time using Ubuntu, uh, which was fantastic, but oh my god, what a headache. Uh, mainly because I am not a computer guy, I don't know much about computers beyond the regular usage, so, and I'm not a programmer. Uh, in order to, to work with Ubuntu, you do need to be a programmer. If you want to do any more advanced stuff, you, you must have at least some kind of understanding of programming, which I don't. So I spent three weeks trying to figure out how to set up the mining software for that particular uh, cryptocurrency on Ubuntu, and I didn't get anywhere, and I got a lot of help from the developers, from the developing team, but we were doing it online through Telegram, and it was a hell of a adventure. Uh, every single day, every evening, I spent hours and hours Sometimes on weekends, I was here all weekends trying to set it up and we got, I don't know, I had some progress, but it wasn't enough, I never got the rig going on Ubuntu and so I switched over to Windows, I installed Windows and I got it done within about 30 minutes all by myself pretty much with minimal help from the development team. So. Windows, it's a heavy program compared to Ubuntu. Ubuntu runs a lot smoother, a lot faster on computers because it doesn't have the heavy load underneath it. Windows has all that stuff that Ubuntu doesn't have. That's why Ubuntu is so much more developer dependent. This is also the recording space in which I do the Monday evening podcast. David is on the other side of the country and I am here. So today, the meaning of this was to be a wrap-up for the week. That was my initial goal of having Friday walks and talks. Uh, unfortunately today it's not a walk and talk, which is not a bad thing. I guess it, you know, provides a bit of a change in scenery. I'm here and I'm... That's the environment in which I work. It's not a bad environment, it's pretty good. I've got music playing, there's a heater on and there's coffee on the stove. I managed to polish the entire pot. I cleaned the whole pot all by myself. And uh, by cleaning, I don't mean, you know, cleaning, I just mean drinking. Maybe that's why I'm so stressed, strung out. So, what happened this week? Nothing much, really. It was a pretty regular week. I've talked to people, I've taught people, I've communicated with people on the internet. I finally figured out Reddit. For the longest time, I couldn't understand how Reddit worked. And 
I was really really interested in getting into Reddit and beginning to use it because people told me on numerous occasions that Reddit was a very good place for 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 uh, networking and getting you know information from people and getting help from a lot of people and I simply could not wrap my head around how Reddit worked and I finally I finally managed to figure it out and I got involved in the communities I met a person uh, who who is proving to be a fantastic fantastic connection fantastic contact she's a new subscriber thank you for that Victoria and she's a phenomenal person Clearly, I can't thank you enough for all the advice and the help that you've given me so far. And I hope that I can return the favor in some way or form, either through YouTube in your upcoming channel, which you, we, you mentioned you wanted to make, or if you ever decide to come to Korea, I hope that I can help you with something in some way to repay your kindness and your, your brains. This is a very busy time for me, uh, for my school and for my family, really. And it's uh, at the beginning of this year so like the month of January has probably been one of the busiest months I've had in this this year so far uh, I don't know from here on now I think things can only get easier or maybe I just have no imagination um, our school is on the verge of signing a contract with a new investor which means that we will be opening up most likely if everything goes well we should be opening up another branch of Shane English in South Korea. It will not be our own school, it will be our brand, but opened by an investor, which is fantastic news, um, and we hope to grow it even further over the next months. Uh, the second piece of news is that we're moving house. We are in the process of basically destroying the cleanliness of our apartment. Uh, we're supposed to move in less than a month. We're moving on February 28th, we pretty much have slipped into a, a state of not caring anymore. And so the apartment is messy as hell. That really concludes all the news. There are only two pieces of information. And yet it seems so overwhelming. The good news is that it's Thursday today. And that means there's only one day left in the week. And the weekend is the beginning of the lunar year, which means that we're going to have five days vacation starting Saturday, Sunday, which don't technically count. And then there's Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, during which our school will be closed. And I have no idea what we'll be doing, but it does give me an opportunity to make some videos, hopefully, about Korea. It was my son's birthday this past Friday. One of our teachers gave Liam a dog. So that's it for today, Victoria, thank you again very much, uh, I've got lots of ideas, lots of uh, advice that I've gotten over the past week really, um, and I'm gonna use all that to make a lot more movies, a lot more content, uh, and I hope also to get a lot more time to be able to do that, and weather permitting, if it doesn't continue raining for the next week, I'll be out early and making videos uh, and showing you a bit more of Korea, particularly I have one video in mind that is specifically directed towards the audience of rock climbers. Uh, my first years after coming to Korea were spent rock climbing. I used to rock climb before leaving Canada, before uh, while living in Japan, and then when arriving in South Korea. Rock climbing was, was just my life, my second life here. And I spent hours and hours scaling the walls of uh, the biggest mountain in Ulsan. And I hope to take you there and show you around which would be a fantastic thing, I think, for myself. Take you down the memory lane. So that's it for today's sit and talk, and that's it for the wrap up for this week. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think about our office. Is it messy? Probably. Is the background destructing? I hope not. If it is, I'll change it. Let me know in the section below. Until then, have a good weekend. Peace.